Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to F1 2017 for another race in what is our recreation of the 2018 Formula 1 World Championship. Today, in accordance with the real life schedule, we are at Great Britain, well, at Silverstone in Great Britain for what is the British Grand Prix. And as you can see in the background, it is raining in typical British weather fashion. Oh, however though, I must admit, it's not quite that realistic right now because it is absolutely bloody hot here in the UK and that's coming from an Australian sort of raised Englishman. I mean, yeah, it gets really hot in Australia with like 40 degrees plus summers, but it's just here in the UK, you just can't get away from it. And it's like the heat is just everywhere. And especially when it's been this way for two weeks, I mean, just watching the, the race today in real life, it was, it just looked like a scorcher out there. I'd hate to have been in one of those stands. But anyway, back to the game. So today starting off the of 15th, I had a horrible qualifying run. Um, unfortunately I binned it in Q2, which meant that we started at the tail end of that Q2 sort of, uh, pack, but we've had two podiums in the row. Uh, actually, no, yeah, sorry. Two, no, well, if you discount Azerbaijan because I didn't actually properly race that one, but uh, Austria, Monaco, and Canada, we had a first, a third, and a third. So I don't think we'll get a podium here today, although it is wet, so you never know. We have done well in the rain in the previous races that we've been in uh, where it's been wet, but yeah, you never know. All right, here we go, British Grand Prix. Let's get this thing started. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Alonso, Magnussen, Ocon, and Roman Grosjean, Perez, Sainz, Daniel Kvyat, and a Williams, Van Dorn, Palmer, Pascal Verlein, and Marcus Ericsson. Holkenberg and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. All right, strategy for today. If it stays wet the whole way through the race, which is what it looks like it's going to do, we'll just try and do it on the one stop lap 13. Um, fuel wise, yeah, we'll go. 20, 27 laps. Uh, actually, I'll move that back to what it was. Just start at 52. That's good enough. All right, set up. Gone with a reasonably sort of or well, medium level downforce setting for this weekend. Really nothing else. That's rather special. I mean, this was all for a dry track as well. I must admit. So I probably could have done a couple of things yesterday to have adjusted for the rain today. Which probably would have been a good idea, but I totally didn't even bother to check the weather for today. I thought it was going to be dry, but not the case on the official game. All right, so let's set off on this warm-up lap and get this race underway. All right, see what the wheel spins like. God, it is belting it down. Bloody hell. Man, that is seriously wet. This is like full, full wet.
So I did previously think we were going to be starting 15th, but it would have seemed well, it would seem that Hulkenberg got a penalty, so we'll move up one spot. Alright, here we go. Twenty six laps is the distance, two thousand eighteen British Grand Prix. Here we go. Oh, cold tires. Oh, oh shit. Big move from the Renault. Oh gosh, that's a bit late. Oh, I'm so lucky I didn't get damage there. up into ninth.
Got some pace. too deep. Right, so we got the Force India, oh sorry, uh, Magnuson, buddy, whatchamacallit in front of us. Oh, I had a massive mind blank. <laughs> Got to get close enough to get some draft. I don't think there's such thing as aerial wash in uh, in F1 2017. Come on, Joseph. Plenty of standing water, I can tell you that much.
Up a date. That didn't help.
Oh, I've got no fourth gear, fuck. Why my gearbox? My gearbox is only one race old. That's a bit scary. Oh, I got it back now. Uh, we're losing a lot of time to the guys in front, but we're actually pulling away from everyone behind us, so we're sort of just in our own little race right now. So around two seconds off of Hamilton. Getting the slap. Box the slap.
Fuck. Massive fail on my delta. Alright. So Hartley must have been in front of us then. Or maybe not, I'm not, sh not sure actually. Not sure who pitted and who didn't on that stop. Shit, come on, Joseph. Oh, tires are gone. I was not confident on, I didn't want to lock up in a, and overshoot the, the uh, entry to pit road so I'd get speeding, uh, i get a speeding penalty but come on boys, let's make this a quick one. Good stop, 2.3, nice. Got to be super careful of this exit. The only problem was my in lap was really slow. Oh, so nice to have grip for once. Hopefully all these guys pit on this lap. How am I... what the hell?
How am I behind Hamilton and in front of Riker? And do they pit twice or something? How the hell did this happen? Jesus. I am so confused as to how we are in front of Bottas. good because they're in front of us. Oh, go away.
seem to be holding them at bay for now. Wow, we're actually pulling away from Bottas behind us now. It's good. Best lap of the race.
Oh shit! Fucking hell! Damn! I knew they said there was a problem with Ricardo, but I didn't think it was that bad. Fuck! I stopped in the middle of that that S section. Damn! Definitely got front wing damage now. Saying I have any. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit light green. Crap, now we got Riken behind us. Wow, I just had a frickin' glitch right before I hit that bloody breaking point. Screwed it all up. Come on. Last lap, come on, I want this force. Oh, got a touch. Something's happened. I think it's Perez. Yep. 
Alright, come on. Half a lap to go. I can't get through there at all. Yes! Yes! What a race! I did not think, starting 15th, we were going to get all the way out to 4th. I mean, we jumped one person in the pit stops and got up to 7th, but to get all the way up to 4th in the end... Damn! That was a fun one. Great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky, wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands, and they're out in the <laughs> It's Ferrari on the top step once more. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I think I'm going to award it to the Williams driver. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. And now let's take a look at the constructors. Woohoo! We got driver of the day. <laughs> extend their lead at the top of the championship. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. That's really cool, first time we've got driver of the day, but starting 14th, got a pretty decent start. I think we jumped maybe two cars on the first lap after the, the dive bomb from, I think it was Hulkenberg. But in the end, we actually had the third fastest lap, so we have really good pace in the rain. Uh, okay, so what else? We had Perez and Hartley, DNF, Stroll finished a lap down almost again. Uh, what else are we seeing here? Yeah, not pretty much just a straightforward race. Uh, so, they actually only had one stop. I don't, I still don't know how we jumped Hamilton and Raikkonen and Bottas. Well, we didn't jump Hamilton, but we almost did. Uh, yeah, I don't quite know how that happened. They must have had really slow stops or something because we were miles behind them. I thought they stopped twice, but anyway... Still a really good race, really fun. So now we'll just have a look at the driver standing. So we are in seventh still, the best of the rest. And we are extending that margin over Hulkenberg in eighth. Uh, we're actually only six points behind Ricardo. That's pretty crazy, for, <laughs> especially in a Williams. Uh, Constructors standings only 17 points ahead of the Haas, but I'm the only one scoring any points this season, so it makes it a lot more difficult. Yeah, not a bad run. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was really fun from my end, I must admit. It's always good when you get to drive through the pack with a with a relatively fast car. I know we're quite slow in the dry in this Williams car, but boy, when it rains do we seem to take off. So we'll move on to the next one with another high points uh, finish. Now we didn't get the podium, but we have had, as I said in the, uh, the start of the video, we've had three podiums in a row, but we got pretty darn close. I mean, it doesn't get any closer than fourth, but I'll definitely take a fourth, considering how awful our qualifying went yesterday. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, I'll catch you later.